All links and common questions related to this video will be in the video description. You can help support these video tutorials by rating the video or commenting. One of the most common questions I get is how do I improve my download speed? But the more important question is, can you get a faster connection for what you're paying now for a slower connection? And it's very important you understand kilobits per second and kilobytes per second in order to go forward. Uh, first off, I want to say if you're using AOL Connect or Walmart Connect, please discontinue those services because you're already paying way too much for a really, really crappy connection and horrible tech support. Uh, they get their money from bulk spamming CDs and magazines and uh, putting their CDs everywhere imaginable. There's tons of better services. Right now I'm using DSL. The, the benefit to DSL over cable is that if you have cable and your neighbors also have cable, it's like you share the same connection. You share the same bandwidth. With DSL, you get a dedicated connection only for yourself, and your bandwidth won't deplete if you have a, a person next door or something that always have their torrent programs on or their peer-to-peer -peer networks on. Let me give you an example first, though. We need to understand kilobits per second and kilobytes per second. Let me say, I'm going to download a game. I'm going to say, download Dofus. It's an online French MMORPG. And I choose it because it has an easy download page. I just click download and it starts downloading. And it's quite a big file. Uh, I can see the download. I can see the download starting right here. And I'm going uh, 430 kilobytes per second right here. 450 KB per second. This is what you usually see when you download in Torrents or Limeware or some other peer-to-peer -peer network. 470 something kilobytes per second. Okay, I'm going to cancel this, but just remember 430. Okay, now I'm going to take a bandwidth test. I'm going to say speed test on Google. I'm going to say speed test. I'm going to just select a random one. In this case, it has a pretty crazy flash interface, but it allows me to select from different locations around the U U.S. I just click the location, and it's going to tell me exactly how fast my connection speed is. But wait a minute, remember that I was downloading at 430 uh, KB, and right here it says 5100 KBPS. So whoa, that's a huge difference just because it changed from KB to KBPS. And it's going to tell me my upload speed too. And the upload speed basically determines how fast you're going to download off torrents, because torrents are based on sharing ratios. The more you give, the more you're going to get. So your torrent downloads are basically usually going to be as fast as your fastest upload speed. But keep this number in mind. Now it's uh, 5130. And it gives me the results here. But here's how you check. Uh, KBPS is actually kilobits per second. And KB is kilobytes. So that's what you usually see. You see kilobytes whenever you're downloading. How do I check the conversion? Uh, I can actually use Google as a calculator. I can say 5,130 uh, kilobits in kilobytes. So it will actually tell me how fast I should be downloading. Why is it important to understand these numbers? Well, first off, anything you download from the internet, anything you download from the web browser or from torrents or other peer-to-peer -peer networks is going to be in kilobytes. Uh, once it reaches the thousand, a thousand kilobytes is called a megabyte, and a thousand megabytes is called a gigabyte. A thousand gigabytes is called a terabyte. So these are the numbers we're familiar with. These are the numbers they usually advertise in hard drive space and in thumb thumb drives and that kind of thing. Why in the heck do we have kilobits? Well, kilobits is basically uh, kilobytes times eight because there's eight bits per every byte. A lot of people know this, but they don't associate it with kilobits and kilobytes. So 641 times 8 is 5,130. So kilobits, that's the difference between kilobits and kilobytes. They use the bigger number simply to advertise. Since it's a bigger number, people get confused with kilobytes, and they think the connection speed is way faster when it's actually just about the same speed. Uh, and again, I recommend testing the connection speed to see how fast your connection goes and then calling different ISPs uh, to check how fast their connection goes. 
In this case, it's 5,130 kilobits, uh, but they usually call it 5 megabits. In this case, I have a 6 megabit connection from AT&T. It's actually pretty fast, uh, but it's actually going 5 megabits. It's not going the 6 megabits advertised, but it's not that far off, so I can't really complain. The speed test also told me my upload speed, which is, was about 630. If I search 630 kilobits and kilobytes in Google, it's going to say 630 equals 78.75 kilobytes. So this is about how fast I'm going to be downloading using peer-to-peer -peer networks or torrents since they're based on sharing ratios. If you use Emil, LimeWire, or some kind of torrent software like uTorrent or Azurius. This is about how fast I'm going to go, even if my max capacity for downloading is about 600. Now that you understand kilobits per second and kilobytes per second, uh, it's really important you go and check your local phone directory and compare the different internet service providers in your area. I know people that have had dial-up forever, and they've been paying the same amount of money they could be getting a 30 times faster connection with. They could be getting a DSL line for the same price that's about 30 to 50 times faster. So please do that. Please check the differences. Also, if you use torrents and stuff, uh, make sure the upload capacity is fast. The faster the upload, the better the downloads. It doesn't matter what your max download speed is most of the time. If you have a slow upload rate, you're going to go pretty darn slow. A lot of people get confused by that. Also, if you're going way below what you should be going with your current provider, you should call them. You should say, hey, what the heck? Uh, you advertise this speed, and I'm going this speed, and you should help me. So please be sure to do that. Anyways, thanks for listening.